Our verse for today is John 10, verse 10, where Jesus says, The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. In this verse, which is part of Jesus' Good Shepherd discourse in John chapter 10, he's contrasting himself with other messianic pretenders, if you will. There's always people who arise and say, I'm the one you should be listening to. I'm the one that God has sent. And what Jesus is doing by connecting himself to this image of the Good Shepherd is he's connecting himself to an image with deep, deep roots in the Hebrew Bible. Most of us are familiar with the 23rd Psalm. It's probably the best known Psalm in the Bible, where it, it begins by telling us, the Lord is my shepherd. And this image of God as the shepherd of his people is also very prominent in the prophet Ezekiel, in the 34th chapter of Ezekiel, where God shares at length about how God is the one who will go out and seek the lost and the strayed and the injured, and how God will bring back all of his people once again. So Jesus is connecting with this image that his people would have had of God being like a good shepherd. And he's also not a hireling, which is another word that is used in John chapter 10, where Jesus says someone who's just hired to do a job of looking out over the sheep doesn't care for the sheep in the same way as the shepherd who owns them, who sleeps with them, who watches over them day and night. And it's a comfort in these days in which we find ourselves with so much uncertainty to know that God looks at us the way that a good shepherd looks at his sheep with love and concern and individual care. And shep shepherds even have often a particular whistle or voice and the, she and the sheep will come to the sound of their shepherd's voice and not to the sound of a stranger. And that's something that Jesus talks about also in John chapter 10. I find it very comforting to know that part of why Jesus came was that we might have abundant, eternal, joyful life. And who wouldn't want all three of those things? Who wouldn't want to spend life under the guidance of our Good Shepherd, Jesus?